Claus, and welcome to Panasonic's Picture Perfect. You know, it's really tough getting those great action shots, whether it's motocross, tennis, or even your kid's soccer game. But I'm here today with my friend Jeff. He's a professional photographer, and he's going to hook us up with some tips on how to stop the action and get that picture perfect. We got some really great shots over there on the other side. We did all the things right we were supposed to do. Right. Put it in sports mode. We put the sun behind us so that, that the riders were lit really nicely. You could right. see the bikes, see who the people were and everything. Yeah. Another really creative thing that I love to do is break a rule. We're going to put the sun behind the subject this time and we're going to make a silhouette. Okay, so how do really, you do that? Basically, we're going to come over here. Okay. We're on the opposite side of the hill this time. All right. right? Now, you have to get down really low. Okay. Put the sun, the clouds, and the blue sky in there in the background, okay. okay? Now, you just have to wait for the next rider to come along. Be prepared. Here he comes. Okay. <laughs> All right? I'm nervous. Get ready. Okay. Go. Oh. Let's see what I you got. I think I got it. That was cool. You got it. See how simple that was? Oh, that looks so Gives you a little bit of drama, some creative influence there. Yeah. Um, and it's, I never would have it, it's about breaking, that. you know, one of the rules. Yeah. Uh, using, instead of having the sun behind you, now you've got it you know, right in front of you. But you're using it to your advantage to kind of convey something. Yeah, so, very cool. Let's go shoot some more pictures. Thanks, Jeff. Sports action happens really quickly. You can't always have it exactly the way you want it. You can't be out there on the field. Right. Pick your spot, whether it's a soccer field, baseball field, hockey rink, football field. In this case, we love this bend right here when our friends come through. Okay. So what we're gonna do, this camera has a great manual focus option. We're gonna switch it over to manual focus. All right. We're gonna pre-focus on the spot where the action is gonna be coming through. Oh, all right. So not on the person, but like on, on the spot. Where right. It okay. So when that guy comes into the frame, all you're thinking about is hitting that shutter button. Okay. All right. Go ahead you, and give it a shot. Will you cue me when he's coming I through? I sure will. Okay. Here he comes. All right, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Ready? Go. Oh, cool. Let's all take right. A look. <laughs> he moves just right into the spot when I took it. Now, you may have to try this a few times. Right. I mean, sports action is a hard thing to get. Right. In a typical game, I may shoot 2,000 frames to get those five frames that I really like. Yeah. But if I pre-focus on a certain spot where I know that action is going to eventually be coming, I can capture it, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm thinking about my framing, I'm thinking about pre-focusing and capturing the action when it comes to me. Because we obviously can't be out there on the field and we can't be on that bike when he's running around. Right, makes sense. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get off of this track now and go somewhere a little bit more refined. Okay, come on over, Mara. Now we're on a tennis court. Yes, we are. Presents us with a whole new set of challenges, but very similar to what we had on the motocross course. Okay. Challenges that you're going to find on a soccer field or a baseball field. You're going to have light coming from a certain direction. In this case, you're a righty. Right. So I've picked a spot right here where I can capture you and the ball in good light. Okay. As you can see, I obviously wouldn't want to be on the other side of the court because the other side is all in shadow. Right. All right. Now what I'm doing is I'm... I'm focusing using the autofocus mode and I'm slightly depressing the shutter, keeping you in focus as you move back and forth. Okay. I'm anticipating the time when that ball is going to come into the frame. I'm keeping it steady with the optical image stabilization feature. Okay. Helps me keep, you know, the frame all set up and, and, and steady. Right. Now, the other opportunity that we have is with manual focus. We can pre-focus on a certain spot on the court where we find the light is good and we think that the action is going to be. In that case, I'm going to have to wait for you to come into the frame gotcha. and the ball to come into the frame and then just worry about the shutter and capturing that exact moment. Okay. okay? Why don't you head back and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Okay, come on over. Okay. All right. You can see what I mean. Oh. You're, you're in good light. Oh, We've yeah. got the ball in there. And it's peak action. Right. Okay. So what I've done 
is I've waited for that opportunity where you are going to be in the best light. I'm utilizing the autofocus mode, so I'm following you in autofocus. I've got the optical image stabilization. I wasn't using manual focus because I, I was just waiting for the ball to come to you. Okay. We have that feature. We could have also manually focused and pre-focused on the spot. Okay. Why don't you try a couple shots okay. of your friend Jenna here? Okay. All right. Well, I know she's a lefty, so coming from this direction, I should probably get her backhand. Yeah, you want to get her backhand. Okay, so okay. where should I stand? Here, I'll hold your racket. Should I stand um, over by the net? Go ahead and stand right in here. Okay. Get down low and wait for Jenna's backhand. You got it. <laughs> See how easy that is? Yeah. Now, you want to have a large memory card because you're going to want to take a lot of shots here. You know, peak action is very hard to get. It's sort of like playing a video game. You know, you're, you're anticipating <laughs> the ball coming in there, and you may have to shoot 100 shots to get that perfect shot. You know, use your zoom. Use the optical image stabilization to keep right. it steady. You can use pre-focus as well. I want to try one with manual, too. Okay, okay. that's fine. Just going to switch over to manual focus okay. on the back. All right, okay. pre-focus on the spot where Jenna might be coming. Okay. And wait for the ball to come in. Lots of attempts. Don't get frustrated. Relax. Enjoy the game. I mean, you'll learn more about a sport by photographing it than you will by just standing there and watching it. Yeah, you know, it, it you're really paying you attention. To pay attention. How do you develop a photographic style? Go out and find a photographer that you really admire and copy their work. Consider it a remote apprenticeship. This is the history of culture. Eventually, you're going to start doing original work, and then some young kid is going to copy your style, and the cycle of life is continued.